What's up guys, King of the Slabs here. And since Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition is going to come out tomorrow here in the United States, I'm going to make a short, quick, 4-5 to five video series pretty much giving tips on the people who've never played this game before. Yes, I know there's a thousands, millions of videos out there on Borderlands 2 since it's been out there for a year. And, you know, people have already done this, but I thought I'd just make 4-5 to five videos just taking, you know, all the big main information and just putting it in one spot for people to find. So first when you start the game you're gonna you know pick your character and one of the first characters and definitely one of the characters I recommend to start out as I actually started out using is the commando. He has a bunch of gun skill and he has a turret which is pretty much just playing with the second player because you can throw it out run, hide, you know, get your health back, and, you know, just pick away. Now, then you have Zero, who is a melee and a sniping character. But most people use him as the melee. And I would say Zero is really fun to play as, as in, you know, an in-game character and throughout the game. But if you're first starting out ever playing a Borderlands game, I would not recommend Zero at first, because just... I'd recommend someone like the Commando or a Siren because the Siren, she is probably the best player to have. You're going to be a team player because she can heal. She can, you know, control the battlefield. But that's who I main as now, and I use her as solo, and she does just fine. And next you have the Gunzerker, Sal, who is pretty much at the end of the game the most overpowered little dwarf you'll ever meet. He is ridiculous. Now, getting him though until he's overpowered, like the early stages of Sal, it, he's he's kind of annoying to use and you gotta get used to it. And then for your DLC characters, you have Krieg, which like he is, he's a psycho. He just runs around and he just melees the crap out of everything. And it's pretty much a one-shot kill. It, you know, killing people five to six levels higher than you. He's just, he's fun to play as as well. But again, if you're just starting out with Borderlands game, I would recommend a Siren or a Commando and not, not a Krieg. And then you have Gage the Necromancer, who is... Kind of like the Commando, she has her action skill is Death Trap, which is pretty much a second person. And she also has a skill tree that deals with Anarchy, and that's what a lot of people use once they, you know, if you main as Gage. It's, you know, you gain stacks of Anarchy by killing, you know, killing enemies and also reloading your gun. And the more stacks of Anarchy you have, the more gun damage you have, but your accuracy is, you know, crazy, but she has skills to make the, you know, the accuracy better. But again, she is uh, more of a character after you've already played, I think, Borderlands or Borderlands 2 for, you know, a little bit, and you understand the game's mechanics. So yeah, guys, pretty much just all in all, I'd recommend the Commando, or the Siren to start out with, if you've never played a Borderlands game before, but if you have then, you know, pick any one. I mean, personally, I'm in the Siren, but they're all really fun to play as. But yeah, guys, um, that's about the new, you know, the character selection and Borderlands 2, and thanks for watching.